Yo, what's going on you guys, man? Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't dropped a video in about three weeks. As you can see, the last time I dropped a video was about three weeks ago, almost four weeks. But nevertheless, I am here. I just want to thank God for the opportunity to be here. I want to just thank you guys for actually clicking on this thumbnail. I hope you guys get some out of this video. I'm going to give you guys basically a psychological perspective on my training and the things that I've went through and why I have not drop the video this amount of time nevertheless if you can please give me a like thumbs up and leave a comment down below it will let me know that you guys been here nevertheless i'm gonna see you guys after the intro let's get it it is All right, so I am currently here to basically give you guys a little breakdown on what I've been going through. I'm going to tell you off rip. Like I said in the intro, I did fill my 100K challenge. I started off okay with about like one point something percent. It was really good, almost 2%, like 1.9, 1.8%. I don't remember off the top of my head. And I ended up just blowing the whole thing. Started trading that works. That wasn't going to trade at work. Over trading was definitely the my, like my 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 kryptonite like that's the one thing that been really really destroying me so check it so i did decide to buy swaggy c's the day i bought this was all right i bought this day on march 27th i bought this on march 27th that was 15 days ago 16 hours 36 minutes and 45 seconds ago whatever whatever, whatever. and right here it's kind of off because i originally right here it's off because i originally i can't even show you i even screen recorded it so i did like I said, I did start it up. I, 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 um, did I screen record this on the 20th? Yeah. All right. So I screen record this, as you can see, on the 24th. All right. So this is what I had off rip. This is where I was up. I was up 8.9% in the challenge. And clearly, like, no law. Like, everything was perfect. Like, everything was going good. And then let me tell you, on that Sunday, on that Sunday, I don't know what happened. I was just, I was already out busy. I was just so in a desperate rush to trade and I took a, a little small like half a percent loss and I just got back in the trade and I got back in the trade, got back in the trade and bro, like I ended up just blowing a wreck. It came to a point that when I tried to place another trade, I realized that the market wasn't even allowing me. I was trading on MT5 platform and I, I, I have my one click entry. So it was a buy or sell one click and it disappeared. And I went to the sales to try to input it back and it would not even input. So I'm like, what's going on? So I went on my email, I went on my email and I got this unfortunate email. I'm sure you guys probably all know what this email said. So this is what the email said, obviously. It said, you did not successfully complete a secure the bad challenge due to breach the following rule. And it said the current equity and they lost equity, whatever, whatever. I basically lost like $500. I lost, I destroyed it. Like it was crazy. I lost 502. I lost 502 and it just, I honestly can say that was like the beginning of my new mindset. And it comes to show me when I do go outside of my trading plan, how it can definitely impact my challenge. I was up 8.9%. Tell me how you can be up 8.9%. All I needed was a percent, or like 1.1%. And I've been like, I've been done. But unfortunately, I let the over trading and the greed get the best of me. And I ended up placing like at that point when I was up 8.9%, I probably had like seven trades under my belt. But look, as you can see right here, I ended up over trading and end up going like 45 trades which doesn't make any sense and my average loss was 43 dollars and my average win rate was was 50 dollars uh risk reward was 1.17 it was just i just really let the trading get to me and the greed and the over trading so basically i'm here to actually explain to you guys why not to do that and this is why i've been i have i actually been not posting any videos yeah i've been demo trading i've been locked in on uh, mark douglas i'm gonna order a book the trade everyone highly recommend me to read that book trading the zone so like i said i've been really really locked in on my psychology i've been really really locked in on my strategy uh i even did some little twists and turns on my strategy also implement supply uh, support resistance 
Uh, as you guys can see here, I do trade NAS 100, so I also started implementing my supply res my support resistance on a major time frame, and I think I'm going to eventually start um, intraday swing trading sometimes because when I'm at work, I'm not able to I'm not able to scalp New York session, and I love to scalp New York session. So nevertheless, that's basically why I wanted to explain to you guys, man. When you are in this challenge, don't deter from your strategy because. When you deter from your strategy, you're gonna end up doing other crazy things and it's gonna become uh, a snowball effect. This is one little small thing you may have done. Like, for example, if you know you're gonna risk a half a percent for 1%, don't end up risking 1% for 2% because that just basically opened up this door for you to start breaking the little rules here and there. And like, let's just say, for example, you do risk that 1% that for the 2% and you make a win. Now you basically open up the door for them demons, basically the, the over trading and the trading plan demons to come destroy your whole trading plan. So one thing I can definitely tell you guys is to stick to your trading plan. I know I've said this in the previous video before when I did fail my very first challenge, but bro, for real, for real, like once you write certain things down, you gotta make sure you keep it there. Is this man or that's yours. Then you gotta you gotta really make sure you keep it there. Whatever you what you put on your trading strategy, your trading plan. Throws in your backpack. Yeah, whatever you do on your trading plan, your trading strategy, make sure you stick with it at all costs. One or two trades a day. Um, that's all I'm looking for. Like I end up doing 40 trades that night and I did tell myself and, and it all it is also in my trading plan to take one or two trades max and every time i end up trading more than that i just blow my account and what i do is when i do place let's say for example if i want to place this one trade right let's say i want to place this this one trade if i want to enter they swing trade this right all right it's basically a two one one point nine four two to one whatever my reward is two my my risk is one all right i would not just place one lot size i would place um, I would get whatever I'm willing to risk that two, that um, the half a percent, and I would divide it by three. So just I would basically put three contracts of this one trade, and then have basically uh, a runner. Like let my last trade just go ahead and run and do its thing. So I'm gonna actually real quick just show you guys my a bit of my trading plan. I don't open up this book for nobody. My girl, you don't even know what's in this book, but <coughs> I'll give a shout out really quick to my wifey, my fiance. Um, I, so if you guys don't know, I did propose to my girl a couple weeks ago. And she said yes. I got her a beautiful diamond ring. You guys can see it. She gonna flex that thing. That's one thing she gonna ah, do. Yes, sir. All right. So you can see real quick. Uh, I did have certain things I started to implement. I told myself I'm gonna trade in psychology tips of to avoid greed, follow your rules, to destroy anxiety, reduce your risk, to dis to destroy your anxiety, reduce your risk. I just read that stupid ass. Your fear, your fear to destroy thinking probably whatever. Fuck that shit. But yeah, basically, that's one thing I definitely want to tell you guys is you got to stick to your trading plan. Like, no matter how bad you want to deter from it, no matter how sweet a certain trade uh, look to you, don't deter from your trading strategy. Stick to your rules. Do not go against your rules. Do not over trade because when you over trade, you basically went outside your however many trades you was willing to risk, uh, willing to take that day or your risk reward. Don't do not do it, it ain't worth it. Y'all be it for this video, man. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you can please give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It. it would definitely help out with YouTube algorithm. and I would really appreciate it. Nevertheless, that'll be it for this video. Until next time, you already know what it is. Deuces.